Last night, Danielle became the latest celebrity to leave the jungle. Talking to her in just a moment. First of all, let's remind ourselves of her time in camp. That's a trial. That's, That's not food. Danny, you do have a tip. Oh, I forgot it ambulance. Yeah! 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 Danielle is a golden nugget in life. Woo! You've got to look after your golden nuggets. Male pedestrians only. Oh, how rude. <laughs> Definitely the best thing I've ever done in my life. I've taken away the most precious memories from this jungle. You just jump away like a trampoline. Well, Danielle joins me now. I mean, you, look, you are a natural beauty and you look beautiful in the jungle, but look at you all glamorous. How are you feeling being out? Yeah. Oh, it's just the craziest feeling to be out and see people and normal things. It's just so surreal, it really is. Did you manage to get a good night's sleep in your bed? Was it lovely? I haven't slept yet. I've no. literally come out today, <laughs> so obviously here this morning and on, so I've still not got in that bed yet. Oh, let's, you'll, you'll enjoy it, it'll be great. What was the first thing that you did? Did you, did you have a shower or did you eat something massive? I'm not going to lie, I kind of combined the two. I was, it might have had a straight in the shower because you stink coming yeah. out of there and then I scoffed my face with a McDonald's. Yay, that's my girl. <laughs> that's what you want. I bet you were craving that in there. <laughs> you know when you come across the bridge and your mum was there, that must have been really, really emotional to see her because you must have missed her so much. It is the weirdest feeling when you come across that bridge. When I saw my mum, I was like... Is that you? Like, it just took me a minute. It was just the most loveliest feeling to see her. And who, do, who would you say that you kind of bonded most with in there? Because, you know, obviously, you know, everybody tries to get along, but there's going to be people that you click with. Oh, I bonded with everyone in my own way, but definitely Sam. He'd become, like, my little brother in there, even though he's the same age as me, but... Obviously, you've been watching Sam, so he's just like a little brother. We're just winding each other up. We just had the absolute best time and laughed so much. He's He has been... I mean, he, he is... A jo everything is exciting to Sam. He's a joy. You want him to win. Just about everybody that's come out has said Sam's their favourite to win. That's who they want. That's who they want to be king of the jungle. He definitely deserves to be king of the jungle. He's my king of the jungle anyway. Like, he just lifts your mood so much in there and he just has such a laugh. Incredible. And that's what you want, isn't it? To just keep everybody... Just to keep everybody going. That's the thing. Have you managed to see anybody that's out? I mean, I know Grace and Jamie went home. Home, home, they're out there. But, you know, have you seen Nella or Frankie or Fred or Nick or any of the guys? Have you managed to get together? When I come back to the hotel, all of the guys were there. So I see Nella, Fred, Frankie. It was just so overwhelming to see them guys. So they look so lovely. They smell great. I stunk and I was like, all grubby. <laughs> but now you're gorgeous and fragrant and fantastic. Now, what, was, what would you say, looking back, um, was the best part of this? I mean, presumably you have no regrets at all. You've, you can clearly, you've enjoyed the experience. But what were the highlights for you? I had the time of my life in there, I really did. Do you know what it was, spending time with the campmates in there? They are the best bunch of people I've ever had the pleasure of spending that much time with. I really am so grateful to them. So we've just laughed the whole way through. You, look, you, you did look as if you're having a good time. The weather wasn't good, though, initially. And that, I think that sort of put, a, really, a dampener, obviously, put a dampener on things when the weather was, when the weather was bad. Um, and it's quite difficult to keep your spirits up, which, again, is why you need someone like Sam in there. A hundred percent. The weather, come to Australia, it'll be hot, they said. I couldn't believe how raining it was. I was like, you're joking. I've come to Australia trying to catch a tan. And... It was just so miserable, but it just meant the world that everyone was just in high spirits still. We really did laugh so, so much. I can't tell you how much I've laughed in there. So we just got through it in the end as a team. They were just the best bunch of people ever. We only see a small part of it, Danielle. We just yeah. see the edited highlights, if you like. It's, it's sort of like 
not being able to see the whole football game. You just see little bits of it. And a lot of people were expecting fireworks with, with Nigel Farage, but it's been a bit of a damp squib. No, it's, he's been quite quiet. We've not actually seen that much of him here. We've seen a lot of yourself, a lot of, a lot of Sam, obviously. Um, but everybody, I think he just kind of does his own thing and everybody just lets him go on with it. Nigel's like the dad of camp. Like, he just gets on with it, carrying the water up and down the hill every day, bless him or Farage, as we like to call him, in the jungle. <laughs> he's, uh, he's been a big part of my jungle experience and the craziest new mate that I've made. <laughs> I know it is when you think about it, the WhatsApp group that you're going to have. I mean, who would have thought that you would have made friends with all these people, these different people from different walks of life? That's one of the joys of the, of, of the experience, though, isn't it? A hundred percent. We've all spoke about the WhatsApp group. We can't wait to make the WhatsApp group when everyone's out. And definitely one of my crazy highlights was washing Mr Farage's pants in the creek, I have to say. So <laughs> he was a big part of my time in there. He really was. <laughs> and Josie, Josie's the only woman standing now. Um, but who do you... I mean, who do you think will win? Are you, you're, you're, you're rooting for Sam, I think. Maybe, but Josie, Sam or Josie, maybe? You wouldn't mind? Literally, it's so hard to choose that who do you want to win because I've bonded with them guys so much in there. Josie is my girly, standing strong for the girls still, so I'm definitely rooting for my Josie 100%. She is an incredible person and I've just, it's been such a joy spending time with her and we have giggled the whole way through. <laughs> it's good. Listen, you enjoy, have a lovely sleep tonight. Eat lots of chocolate. Enjoy your time by the pool because uh, you've certainly earned it and lovely to talk to you. Thank you so much, Danielle. Thank you. Oh, Lorraine, oh. it was so <laughs> lovely speaking to you. Thank you for having me on again. Oh, cheers, love. See you soon when you're back. See you when you're back. And I'll tell you what, we've got a look ahead to tonight's trial. It's called Have Yourself a Grotty Little Christmas. Marvin and Nigel are the, the victims or the participants. Let's have a look. Gravy. Got up a bit of gravy. Gravy smells nice, right, though. Still no Nothing sign there. of a star. No, nope. no star. It's Christmas time. <laughs> Can't see. But tonight, thank God, it's them <laughs> instead oh. of you or us.